Hello everyone. For everyone that don't know what my video I just uploaded was, um, there is a YouTuber that goes around stalking and harassing people and getting other people to help her do her dirty work. Um, like I said, you can look and see whenever my channel was created. I didn't even get in this crap till probably almost a year after this stuff got started, though. Um, but, Glendo was paying people to post pictures of my deceased sister and other people's deceased family members. Okay, so, that's how I got in this. I created a channel to get at the channel that were doing nasty things. Bottom line, them channels closed down. I went about my business. Glenda, for some reason, it's like she needs the drama. I don't know if she's losing subs or what's going on to where she needed people to make videos about her. But I'm telling you, she's not this nice old little old social security SSI lady. Um, our VN lives on solely social security. She ain't really making crap off YouTube. Um, so, with that being said, Glenda and Steve need to stop the stalking and harassing, making it look like everyone's stalking and harassing Glenda. No, Glenda keeps non-stop moving because she probably can't pay her damn bills. She is the only one getting people's family information, calling their jobs, calling their children's schools, all types of off-the-wall crazy crap. Okay? So, for all of you guys that think Glenda the nice, sweet old lady, she's really the not nasty old convict that keeps messing with people so that she can turn it around and make it look like they're messing with her. Um, I moved to South Carolina. RVN moved with me about two or three months after I moved. Glenda found out. Her and Steve found my address and posted my house, my mother's RV, and vehicles and everything that was in the yard, including my RV that was in the yard. People, that is stalking and harassing when you do not even live in the same damn state as someone and they are coming to another state or paying people in your state to hunt you down and find your address and take pictures of your house. Come on now, people. This shit gotta stop. This is bull crap. Glenda's gonna end up in jail if she don't stop harassing and stalking this family. I don't know what the rest of you people are going to do that she'd been stalking and harassing. But I'm telling you right now, this one is going to have her butt behind damn bars where it belongs. she got my stolen video making people think that I made death threats to her and her family. I've said it umpteen times. That video was directed toward the nasty channel that would post in my dead sister and my fur baby. Point blank period. When my dog died and they posted him, I flipped my shit. Um, but a lot of you guys that are sub to her, that's rooting for her and thinks she telling the truth and everything. Come on, you guys. If you listen to that video, that video was only threatening the devil. So is she calling herself the devil? Think about that. See you later. I'm sorry. I forgot everyone. Um, the reason why I'm uploading this stuff is because they are yet again, both of them, sending emails to my landlord trying to get me and RV and evicted from where we live at. 
Um, now, why you want to mess with someone's livelihood when they live off solely Social Security? And come on, you guys, let's face it, this COVID has messed everything up. Like, there ain't even no place to rent because people can't kick their tenants out paying rent or not because COVID. So, you're trying to get someone kicked out from where they're living at, knowing they can't get no place else. Or so you think. Either way, how would someone like it if someone were to non-stop do that to them and send emails constantly? And every time they moved, they stalked and harassed and went to the state they was in just to find out and take pictures.